It's here. It's here. It's here. The mail is here. The mail is here. <gasps> the package. Oh my gosh. Check it out. Oh. And we got a pin pointer. A Garrett carrot. Oh. Oh. I think I know what it is. Oh yes. Oh my goodness. Oh. Can't wait to open this guys. Can't wait to open this. Let's get it inside. Check it out. We got the Garrett carrot looking good and then we got this nice package right here let's go ahead and get this open carefully carefully don't want to damage the product here oh ho, ho. yes the apex what gypsy Thank you, this is amazing. All right, we're gonna get this thing open. We're gonna see what it's capable of. We'll take it down to the park, but first, let's check out some of the specs and check out this new detector. All right, Pirates, let's get into it. All right, for those of you wondering how this came into my possession, I actually won a random contest on YouTube and it was being held by Gypsy over at Zero Discrimination, so Thank you again, Gypsy. This is amazing. And for those of you that aren't subscribed, I'm gonna go ahead and link her channel down below. Make sure you guys check out Zero Discrimination. And I do have to say this probably couldn't have been possible without Digger's Den. So I'm gonna link their website down below as well. If you do decide to go to Digger's Den and purchase any metal detecting gear, make sure you use code Gypsy in the checkout for the promotion code, and that would be much appreciated. I know that that helps her out and we can pay it back for this awesome gift. So anyway, without further ado, the Garrett Ace Apex, here it is. Oh man, this is just too cool. You've got the wireless headphones with Z-Link technology, and of course, the Apex itself. Oh yes, let's go ahead, let's get it out of the box here for you. I've gotta say the form factor on this thing is slim. I have a feeling that this detector is going to be super lightweight for any of you that are swinging heavier detectors. I have a good feeling about this. I mean the user interface, it's this is amazing. I know some people like the bigger screen so that they can see, but this thing just looks clean. I like it. It is slick looking and oh wow. And we've got a nice DD Viper coil. I think it's a six by 11, so it should be really good in some of these trashier areas. It's got a nice, again, slim form factor. So yeah, let's go ahead and get this thing assembled. All right, Pirates, obviously we had to take it outside because if we're gonna turn this thing on, I mean, you gotta be out on the dirt, right? So without further ado, we're gonna peel off the protective cover on the display, and that is looking good, crystal clear. Let's go ahead, we'll turn it on for the first time. Sounds like treasure to me. As you can tell, it needs a little bit of ground balancing. We're getting some interference already. I have some camping chairs and other stuff around here. So this thing feels really good in the arm. It's very light, like I was thinking. Again, it's got a super compact form factor. So I think hunting with this will be really easy if you're looking to log a lot of hours. It's gonna be very easy to swing. We're gonna have to find some treasure. So getting into the Apex, you'll see that it has six detection modes. Zero, coins, US coins, jewelry, relics, and custom mode, which you can set up and notch out anything that you don't wanna hear, things that you do. The Apex also has auto ground balance, which makes it super easy to set up during any conditions. Just go out, hit the auto ground balance, and you'll be able to pump the coil up and down, and away you will go. You'll have a good, stable machine, so you're not getting a lot of feedback while you're hunting. Also, it has the pinpoint feature, which will help you, of course, locate and zero in on that target, as well as the depth. Over to the right, you can see how deep in pinpoint mode that target is approximately. This target is about two inches. We'll go ahead and recover that later, but. I also wanna show you a few other features in the menu system. 
To really help customize your Apex, just click on the menu button right in the middle of your screen. You'll be able to adjust the sensitivity, the volume at which the signals are coming out, as well as the iron volume. So if you don't want to hear iron quite as loud as your other targets, you can adjust that. You can also select from multiple frequencies to hunt in, as well as the channel to which your detector is on. If you're getting too much feedback from the detector, just go ahead and knock the sensitivity down a little bit and that will help reduce your problem. Again, if you want to hear those targets a little bit louder, you have an in-volume control that you can adjust. Likewise, if you don't want to hear those iron targets quite as loud, especially if you're hunting in zero mode, you can reduce the volume at which those iron targets will be coming through the detector. I think one of the reasons that Apex might be really versatile for a lot of different hunters is because it has multi-flex technology. Now what that is, is it includes multiple frequencies as well as some other features. But when it comes to the frequencies, you can select between five kilohertz, 10 kilohertz, 15 and 20, as well as multi-frequency. And it even has multi-salt mode. Well, there you have it, Pirates. The Garrett Ace Apex is here. We're gonna go ahead, we'll do some actual in the field hunts. We'll do some videos, see what it can recover, get some depth. We'll compare it to the AT Pro and see how they do side by side. And yeah, I'll let you guys make your own opinions on it. But all I can say is I'm pumped. This is an outstanding gift. I can't believe it. So again, Gypsy over at Zero Discrimination. Thank you so much, and if you guys are watching this, make sure to go check her channel out. And, and if you need any metal detecting gear, go over to the Digger's Den. I will leave their link below. Use code GYPSY in the promotion box at checkout. It helps her out a ton. And again, thank you guys for watching, and remember, keep swinging for the ring.